Hello guys, welcome back to this channel and thanks for viewing this video. Today, we are going to continue our series of videos about DevOps and talk about some of the advantages and disadvantages of DevOps. So as we all know with everything, DevOps has advantages and disadvantages because nothing is perfect in this world. So just for you to know, in this video, we're going to talk about some of these advantages and disadvantages that there are um, when implementing DevOps in your organization. So let's start with some of the advantages. The first one uh, on my list here, I have said quick development and deployment. So if you, you are looking for a development approach that will allow you to quickly develop your applications and deploy them in production for your customers to have access to the features, DevOps is the right choice, is the solution in terms of development approach or development model. Another advantage is increased business growth. So DevOps is really there to help your business respond faster to the market changes. And the fact of responding faster to the market changes would actually result in an increased business growth. So your company or your organization would adapt so quickly to the various changes that may occur in the market. And because it adapts so quickly, it would necessarily increase its business growth and increase its, its market share because customers would definitely be satisfied and their experience would definitely be improved. So increased business growth is one of the advantages of using DevOps. Also, it's one of the advantages that your company can experience when using or implementing DevOps. The third advantage of using DevOps is the decreased delivery time and cost. So DevOps helps in escalating your business profit by decreasing software delivery time and logistic costs. So it's not only about quickly delivering or developing and deploying your application, but DevOps is also about quickly delivering your product in production. And it's also about lowering the cost of production and the cost you know, involved in the development of your software or your product. Another advantage is the transparent development and delivery. So DevOps is all about transparency because it clarifies the various processes involved. Okay, so it clarifies their descriptions so that transparency will be at the heart of you know, the software development or the software um, development process in DevOps. Another advantage of using DevOps would be the improved customer satisfaction. So DevOps may help your organization improve customer experience and satisfaction. So all of this is thanks to its continuous feedback phase, which allows the developers to take into consideration the customer's feedback by building new features that would meet their expectations. And also thanks to the continuous integration phase, the new features would be integrated and then committed to the production environment in a timely manner for the customers to benefit from these new features. So all of this is done in a timely manner and contribute to the improvement of the customer experience and satisfaction. So DevOps would allow your organization to improve the satisfaction of your customer. Another advantage of using DevOps in your organization would be better collaboration and communication. So DevOps is all about simplifying the collaboration, the cooperation, and the communication among the various teams involved in the software development process. And it also places tools and technologies at the center of these processes, allowing all the stakeholders, all the people involved in the project to have access to the necessary tools, to the necessary information, or to the necessary resources at a timely manner when needed. So DevOps considers all the teams, be it developers team, IT teams, soft, uh, system administrators as one single big team that is working towards one single goal, which is to produce a high quality product for the customer's satisfaction. So better collaboration and cooperation and communication 
is one of the advantage that DevOps would bring to your organization when you implement it. So let's take the last one. You know, the last advantage would be improved team engagement and productivity. So DevOps encourages collective responsibility. Everybody involved in the project is responsible and this would necessarily lead to a better team engagement. Everybody will be engaged in the project and it would definitely increase productivity of all the team members as well. Because when you feel responsible, that would give you the energy to be engaged. And when you are engaged into something, you want it to work, definitely going to improve your productivity as well. So these were some of the advantages of using DevOps in your organization. There are some other advantages that you can add in the comments. So for this video, this is the list. So now let's talk about some of the disadvantages of using DevOps. The first disadvantage of using DevOps would be what I've put in the list here, less DevOps professional. So let's say, because DevOps is really popular today, so many organizations are shifting into, you know, implementing DevOps in their organization. But there's one critical problem that they always face, that is the shortage in DevOps professionals, you know, people that have the expertise and the skill set that is required into you know, practicing DevOps in the organization. There are so many job openings, but less DevOps professionals, actually. And so this is really critical. It's That also means that if you are really interested in DevOps, you should, you know, take the next step and start learning DevOps because there are a lot of jobs waiting for you. But I have put this as one of the disadvantages of DevOps for organizations because there are less DevOps professionals. That means that job openings would stay there and nobody with the right expertise would be there to fulfill the job. All right, so let's, let's move on to, the, to another disadvantage of using DevOps. That is DevOps implementation is costly. So it requires money, okay? I made a video on some of the steps that you need to take before implementing DevOps. And one of the steps was that your organization needs to have a budget. And this is really important, okay? Because implementing DevOps comes with a cost. It's not something that is done, you know, free of charge. You have to have a solid budget if you need to have some of the best tools that, that would allow your organization to benefit from, you know, all the good practices and all the advantages of DevOps that we have just listed in this videos. So DevOps implementation is costly. That can be a disadvantage for small companies that do not have, you know, uh, the necessary budget for, you know, necessary for implementing DevOps in their organization. Let's say another disadvantage of using DevOps would be that DevOps tools and technologies are really hard to manage in a short time because it necessarily takes time for the team to adapt to new tools, to new technologies on how they work, uh, and also to find out if these tools are really suitable for the IT environment. So hard to manage in a short time. So DevOps implementation should take time before you can be able to actually reap all the advantages that we have listed just a couple of minutes ago. And let's talk about the last disadvantage of using DevOps is because of complex, the complexity that will be complex that DevOps is sometimes complex for automation projects. And all of this is due to the fact that if you have any, you, you find yourself in an organization where there is a serious lack of DevOps knowledge, this can be a serious problem in the continuous integration of automation projects. So automation brings a lot of complexity. So your organization would need to have, you know, the right experts that will be skillful enough in DevOps, in the various technologies in order to bring out, you know, all the advantages and allow the automation project to be run successfully and produce the rightful result in your organization. So guys, that was it on the advantages and disadvantages of DevOps in an organization. And I hope this video was informative and please don't forget to like, to share and to subscribe to this YouTube channel for more videos like this one. Let's meet in the next one.